Let me also take the opportunity to thank, on behalf of UNHCR, to thank you, Katia, and the UN Orchestra for having UNHCR's program in Jordan for Syrian refugees as the beneficiary for this concert. The Syrian uh, crisis is the largest humanitarian tragedy of our time. It has generated more than four million refugees to neighboring countries, and there are over 12 million people in need of humanitarian aid inside Syria. So it is really heartening and very commendable to have the support of artists for this. I thank you very much for that. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the situation that the funds will help. Much of the reporting on Syrian refugees does give the impression that most refugees live in camps. But in fact, the reverse is true. Most Syrian refugees live in urban areas. And in Jordan, 85% of the 627,000 registered refugees there are not in camps, they're in urban areas. And a recent report by UNHCR found that more than two thirds of them live below the poverty line. And in fact, one sixth of them live in abject poverty. And that means that they are trying to survive on less than $40 a month. And the situation is particularly worrying for the very vulnerable, and that includes women who are alone, whose husbands have been killed or disappeared, and who are trying to raise their families on their own in another country. And it also includes elderly refugees. There are more and more signs that uh, the situation for Syrian refugees is getting very grim. Normally, in a refugee situation, uh, we would expect that over time, refugees could develop some livelihood skills and gradually stand on their own two feet. But in this situation, the needs are so enormous. In fact, it's getting worse for refugees. In fact, um, there are growing numbers who are resorting to what the UN jargon calls negative coping strategies. But what that means in plain words is things like pulling children out of school. Uh, it means child labor and survival sex. So what we're finding is that Families that were once middle class in Syria are now struggling to survive on the street. And a, a, a Syrian father recently told one of our teams, he said that being a refugee was a bit like being in quicksand. Every time you move, you sink down even further. So that's why this cash assistance program, which your performance will benefit, is so critical because it gives literally a lifeline to the most vulnerable refugees, including those who are living below the abject poverty line and including those very vulnerable women. So a, a typical refugee who would support from this program is a woman who is in our study called Fatima. She has eight children and her husband uh, was detained in Syria in 2011 and then he disappeared. So she's on her own with a big family to support. And the program gives her 120 Jordanian dinars a month. That's about $170. And she uses that to cover the basics, to pay for the rent, to send the children to school, and to buy food. And without it, she'd most likely be homeless. Yeah. So the cash assistance program is a very effective and efficient way. In Jordan, we're able to use state-of-the-art iris scanning. And so um, this really helps prevent fraud and it makes it very, very efficient. And UNHCR has a constant program of reassessing the families to make sure that it goes to those in need. And really importantly, I think, along with the cash, it actually restores some dignity to refugees because they have choice. Instead of standing in line to receive uh, you know, the core relief items like kitchen sets, they can go to the ATM and withdraw money and they can decide, like any other family around the world, how they're going to spend that money for their children. And, and it it's also, Irish control, you say. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. and it's interesting that Jordan is actually one of the countries where it has the technology already for us to do that. And so UNHCR has not had to spend money in setting up the technology. So it's really been an ideal environment and it works very well. Trillions of transactions have taken place and they've all worked really, really well. Um, a rather, another really important aspect of this is that it, um, it does also help the local economy. And what we're finding with the Syrian refugee situation is that you know, as the crisis drags on and as these host countries are hosting so many refugees, 
it is becoming a more difficult environment. So this type of aid, which is cash assistance, does inject that into the local community uh, as well. And it, it helps does help to ease some tensions. So we're currently helping about 22,500 families with this program. We need to help 30 who are the really the most vulnerable, but we don't have enough funds. And so we're really, really vulnerable again to you for your assistance with this program. Thank you.